<clears throat> oh shoot, I'm a messed up. <laughs> it's your boy Juice and I'm coming to you live with some more juice. Ah, I'm so sorry about that. I kind of like missed that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so today's video, if you're done, it's going to be a story time. And the story time is about the time I missed my flight to China. I booked my flight to China. And basically, let's speed it on up. So, now it's the day of me going to China. So, um, I had everything packed. Everything was ready. The only thing was I had to get a few things. Just before going to China, like I wanted to get something to eat, did all this other stuff, you know, normal common things you do before you know head off to your direct location. Fast forward, so I get to the airport, I check in, but I noticed when I was checking my bags in that I had left my dog tags, bag tags, whatever you want to call them. And I also had left my passport and I had left my uh, identification card. Figured out that I left everything. So what I did was I had went back home so I get everything and it's like the airport's only 30 minutes away from me. So I was like, okay, it's not going to be that long. It's not going to take long. So what I ended up doing was uh, I went to my friend's house real quick and I was like, oh, I'm going to go to China, da, da, da. say my goodbyes, whatever, call them people, tell them that I'm finna go to China. I end up going to the airport. Um, I still had like an hour or so to spare. So I kind of wanted to go on a little adventure and like go into arcade, playing arcade games and the other. The arcade games were only like 10, 20 minutes away. It wasn't that far. So it wasn't like I was going to miss my flight. So I thought. <laughs> First I left my um, identification cards, my, my passport and all that at my home. And then I'm sitting here like going from there to my best friend's house. And then from there to the airport and back from the airport going out to the arcade games. And from arcade games, you know, going back to the and eating all that stuff. Yeah, just doing, just doing the most today. Doing the most today. So I go back to the airport. Yeah, I'm burning a lot of gas today. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going to China for them to spend all my money today. It was like 40 minutes around time for me to get to the airport. I go from the arcade games trying to get to the airport. I uh, still had about 20 minutes to spare, like getting to the airport. I get to the airport, I, you know, check in and everything. This other, I have no idea where my bags are. I gave them my bags already. Uh, I guess they put them on the plane already. I don't know. And it's kind of like, if without a dog tag, it's kind of like hard for you to, like, say, oh, this is mine. And, like, you know, that's the whole purpose of it. So, make sure you guys do that. Make sure you put it on your bags and stuff like that. I didn't do that. My bad. Uh, I'm guessing my bags are on the plane already. Hopefully so. Hopefully they're on the right plane and, you know, everything is being taken care of. Um, I didn't directly see them put it on the plane. I just gave them to the people so I have no idea anyways like I said it's 20 minutes before time I check in go to security show my passport they stamp it this is the other stuff pretty much like you know going your way okay so 10 minutes before the flight is scheduled to leave my flight is pretty much taken off so I'm sitting here watching my flight flight leave me so I'm like going to security I'm like hey 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 my flight is leaving me like it's 10 minutes to spare it's not scheduled to take off yet and it is leaving me can you call them back can you call them back because I really need to get on this flight I paid for this flight I was supposed to leave today um I, I I've been like waiting like all this time to like go to China like I, I'm really excited and um I'm, I'm being left I'm being left and it's not even my fault I mean I know I kind of left Couple times to the other stuff, and I could have been on that, that plane like three hours ago, but I'm not on a plane that's leaving me. I was like, can you guys do something for me? Like, call them back. <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm like. That's all I really want to do. Call them back, get me on that plane, so then we can fly away. You know what I'm saying? But that was not the case. Like, his job, and he was like trying to call people so they can like get the plane back and this and the other. Um, after that, like, he was like, well, I, I'm really, I'm only security, I really only can do so much. So he's calling around, he, he's telling me to go to and check in. And then I go to them, I'm like, they're leave the plane is leaving me. And, and you know, of course there's a line or whatever, but I'm I'm like at, at this point in time, like after like a minute or so waiting, I like skip some people, but I'm like going to leave. I'm like, hey, the plane is leaving me. The plane is leaving me 10 minutes early. I'm here on time and it's leaving me. So like, she like gets on the phone and trying to call, uh, I guess the directory center or the flight directory center so they can kind of, you know. So the plane is in the air at this point in time and they're trying to like get the plane to turn around to come pick up passengers that are here on time and stuff like that because it left 10 minutes early. I guess either the plane 
captain don't care or the plane captain don't speak a lick of English or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I wasn't on the phone with them, but I just know the plane was not turning around for a paying customer, which was me. So, as this title says, I missed my flight. Normal people, they're there like an hour ahead of time. And then like when it's time to board a plane, they're boarding the plane. They're already on the plane. So they don't really have to worry about this kind of stuff. But I was there on time. <laughs> it left 10 minutes early, which is wrong. Like, I missed my flight that I paid like thousands and thousands of dollars to go to China. And at this point in time, I finally accepted that I missed my flight, they're not coming back and everything. But now my dilemma is, where is my bags? So me not having dog tags on my bags and um, me not having any kind of, I know what's in my bags, but there's no significant writing. And anybody can be, like not saying that this is what's gonna happen, but anybody can be in China at this point in time and um, saying like, well this is my bag, it has no dog tags on it, and you need to just walk off with it. You know what I'm saying? If it was even on that flight, or if they held it there, or whatever, I have no idea. I just know they're not in my possession. So, I'm trying to, I'm like, okay, I, I get that I missed a flight, maybe you can put me on the next flight, or something. And they are like, they don't have a flight to China for uh, another two weeks. But then what they can do is they can fly me out to LA which have more frequent flights to China and I, I can go to China that way but I would have to pay for hotel fees or whatever and I'm like I don't have that kind of cash I don't have that kind of money I kind of you know saved up to go to China and this is the other like I, I don't know if I can stay there a couple days like it, it's a, so short plans and I'm like well you possibly could stay in the airport if, if it's really that serious well it is that serious but <laughs> they're like this, this, I'm they're trying to work me this is the other and I'm like well how about we just get a refund and I'll just go next year um this is just, it's like at this point in time like i'm a little too frustrated i'm a little too flustered just like just too much going on and i just really want my bags back so my main focus is one like can i get my bags back um do you guys have any idea or any way to kind of get my bags back to me i know there's no dog tags on them and there's no direct way for you to like get my bags right now but is there a possibility that you can ship those back out to me i don't care if i had to pay for shipping fees at this point in time because this is my personal prized possessions in these bags and i really want them back so i'm asking them what they can do about that and they pretty much were telling me like uh well it's kind of your fault that you know and I understand that, but at the same time, like, that's not what you want to hear when you, like, just missed your flight, you, can, you can't find your bags, your belongings are gone. So, I'm getting a little hot, a little heated, and I'm just, like, going off on a tangent and stuff like that, yelling and screaming, like, like I want my bags, I want my money back, I don't want to deal with this, so I'm just, like, going hell. Cussing out people left and right, the lady, she's just like, I was here first, and I said, you and you baby first, I missed my so, <laughs> I'm like really going ham today. <laughs> well, that day. So, like, I started seeing a lot of security kind of, you know, coming towards. So, I, I was kind of chilling out. I kind of like had to come to the realization that my bags can be anywhere. There's a possibility I won't ever get my bags back. I have lost my belongings. And there's a great possibility that I may have lost a lot of money. <laughs> because uh, this is the same day. Like normally if you get a refund for your flights and this and other. Even though me missing my flight was technically the flight. Or the captain's fault of that flight. So I, I don't really know what was going to go on at that point in time. So I was just trying to like think of all the possibilities. Or these sensible or logical solutions that possibly could go on. One, I lost my bags. Two, um, I'm probably not gonna get my money back for this flight. Three, I'm not going to China. <laughs> Four, I'm gonna need to calm down before I do something stupid. You know, security already tight in the airports already, so I'm doing like a lot, I'm doing most at this point in time. So, like, I don't need them shooting me, tackling me down, getting, you know, listen. So, kind of find out my bags never left the building. <laughs> my bags weren't on the flight. Kind of find out this was all a dream. This was all a dream. I miss my imaginary flight to China because it was all a dream. I, I just woke up today and I realized that I wasn't going to China. It was a dream to go to China. I missed this flight because I wasn't going to China and this was all a dream. <laughs> all a dream. I am so sorry <laughs> about this story time. <laughs> this became a nightmare very very fast. Make sure to be prepared for these flights because that's what they taught me today. This also pertains to why I am here. But at some point in time, 
cause and effect happened. Because I was at the airport an hour ahead of time, and you know, being ready and I'll actually there to get on the plane, I, there was an effect that I missed my flight. Um, and that's pretty much how life is in every situation. Because of something, something else happened. So, Throughout my life, I had a lot of causes and effects, and I said I was going to talk about that on one of my story times, and here it goes. Because of this, the effect was this. So that's why I am here, and I'm working my way out of the situation that I'm in at this point in time. And it's going to take some time, and there's going to be causes and effects going on throughout that time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you felt like this was believable at all. <laughs> like in my head, this this was happening while I was dreaming. <laughs> this was happening. I missed my flight to China for real. <laughs> but I found out that this was all a dream. It was crazy how all this was going on. And it was like nothing was getting better. It, it became a nightmare very, very fast. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. There will be more story times, like crazy story times like this. Um, <laughs> follow me on all my social medias, Instagrams, Twitters. Snapchats, Facebook, links are in the description box below. More story times will be coming very soon. And until next time, with some more juice, your boy Juice is out.